You better get outside. You've seen enough of this room. David, I... thank you for saving me. Have that photo you took last night in the parking lot. Yeah, but why? It wasn't that great a shot. Yes, it is, and I, I want it. Where are you? I'm at the Two Whales Diner. Pretty much trapped in here with Joyce thinks this Armageddon weather. I'm expecting the ocean to turn red. I'm on my way. Come on, that's crazy. You can barely walk on the sidewalk outside. Seriously, Max, stay wherever you are. I don't think the storm is getting smaller. That's okay. Me too. But it's not over yet, Warren. So hold on. striking us down. And I'm the one trapped in this fucking radio station. Somebody get me the hell out of here now! Now, goddammit, how do I pay all those prices? You have one new message. Message received yesterday at 9 p.m. Max, it's, it's Nathan. I, I just wanted to say... I'm sorry. I didn't want to hurt Kate or Rachel or, or I didn't want to hurt anybody. Everybody used me. <laughs> Mr. Jefferson is coming for me now. All this shit be over soon. Watch out, Max. He wants to hurt you next. Sorry. Not 
I have to stop him from getting hurt. Alyssa needs help again. I have to accept that I've changed more than time. about all those children out there. Makes me damn. I'm stuck here unless I put out this fire first. Oh, 
storms. You should get out of here. Okay. I better hurry to the diner over there. I need Warren's photo. off. Now I have to find another way into the diner. Evacuation. Once again, this is not a test. This is not a test. An E6 tornado warning has been issued for a case of bay surrounding counties. Max. The emergency broadcast system is now in effect. Oh, Max. Oh, Jesus, I am so glad to see you, sweetie. Are you okay? Yes. What about you guys? Two whales is barely standing now. I don't know if it's gonna make it through this tornado. Oh, poor Officer Barry and all those people out I know. there. Okay, get your ass inside. I have to get back to this gentleman on the ground. Lauren has been gathering all the first aid. It's not much, Joyce. But it's all we have. You okay, Warren? How the hell did I ignore all those warnings, Max? The snow? The eclipse? There's nothing you could do about it, Warren. I'm so stupid. Should have seen it coming. 
Cool. So glad everybody is safe here. But I need that photo from Warren to help Chloe. Joyce, how are you doing? Just when I think I've already been through the ringer. Where's Chloe? I... I'll find her. Not in this storm, you won't. And you're not going out there, Max. I just have to pray that Chloe and David are hold up someplace safe. I'm sorry about all this, Joyce. Don't be, honey. It's not like you whipped up this tornado on your own. Um, I mean, I'm also sorry about everything with David. You don't have control over any of that. David is an adult, and he has a lot more age and experience under his belt. And if he doesn't always show it. I'm sorry I caused so many problems with David and Chloe. You did the right thing. David overstepped his bounds. I had a suspicion he was taking his private surveillance way too seriously. But he's sorry. And I wish he was here right now. I want our lives to be normal again. With all the shit going on this week, I think you're right. And look at me, trying to keep my family together. And... Max, did I make a mistake kicking David out? David saved my life from the storm. I saw how much he cares about Chloe, even if he couldn't show it. David needs you more than ever, and I can see why you love him. I'm so happy David was there for you. He has a lot of weight on his back from the war, but he truly wants to help people. He even agreed to take a family counseling class. I'm sure that was a hard thing for him to do. It shows how much he truly cares about you and Chloe. Nothing would make me happier than for David and Chloe to make peace, not war. But I don't know what to do anymore. I just... I just want this storm to blow over forever. Maybe it's time we leave Arcadia Bay. If we can. David is a real hero, Joyce. I know that all he wants to do is make you happy. I know he would do anything for you. And Chloe. I know. And yes, he's not William, but that's okay. He's not supposed to be. You reminded me of when he came into my life. I was ready to give up. David's love gave me strength. He even told me I was his hero. And I can't give up loving him. I want him to come back home. Oh, I hope I get to tell him that soon. Glad to see you, but I'm so glad to see you. That's okay. The important thing is that you're safe, and I know you can take care of yourself after Nathan. Should have done that a long time ago. But damn, Max, can't believe you actually drove down here in the middle of a fucking E6 tornado just for one photograph. I mean, I know you didn't come for me, Warren. I came for all of you. Just tell me you do have the photograph. I just want... Now shut up and listen. Oh yeah, you're finally going to tell me what you never did in the parking lot. I wish I would have. So I'm just going to tell you without any explanation. Trust me, okay? I always do. You should probably tell me quick. I had a vision in Jefferson's class of a tornado destroying Arcadia Bay. I went to the bathroom and saw my best friend Chloe get shot by Nathan Prescott. You with me so far? Where else could I be? Go on. Then I found out that I could rewind time. And long story short, Mark Jefferson is insane and dangerous. Whoa. Is that all? I have to go back in time. Jefferson already k killed Chloe. I can't let that happen. I have to do something, Warren. Max, going back in time is what caused the storm. 
All because... because of me? How? I'm not a real scientist, even though I play one at school, but this seems like pure cause and effect. Maybe chaos theory. What happened with Jefferson? Did... did he hurt you? Nathan accidentally killed Rachel Amber trying to impress Jefferson. He just needed mental help. Now they're both dead. Jesus, Max. I want the whole story, but I guess we really are out of time. But I can still change things. What do you think will happen? For every action, there's there's a reaction. Whenever you reverse or, or alter time, maybe you cause a chain reaction. Even in the environment. You're my friend, Warren. You believe me, right? I I haven't told anybody else except for Chloe, and, and she can't help me right now. I know I can be a pain in the ass, and, and you've always treated me like a person. Not, not a beta nerd. I, I told you before that I'll always believe you. I just wish I could trust my powers. I guess we'll never know if it's magic or science. Even if it's from a wizard or a wormhole, you're part of something bigger. And I don't believe in fate or destiny, but after this week, I realize I don't know shit. That makes both of us, Warren. I do know you're here for a reason. And I guess it's up to you to find out why. Max, I'm sorry you got stuck in this. In this, I don't have a fucking clue what's going on. But I have total faith that you'll do the right thing when the time comes. I'm so proud of you, Max. How could there be a more important moment in history? And I'm in the middle of it with you? So thank you for trusting me. Thanks for being here. Always. Come on, Joyce. Focus on the people here. I had a vision. Where else could I... Then I... <laughs> I... I think that the storm started... Everything started when I found out I could rewind time. There's no way this is just a coincidence, right? Max! Not only the storm, but the eclipse! The birds, the whales... Everything! All because... Because of me? How? I'm not a real scientist, even though I play one at school, but this seems like pure cause and effect. Maybe chaos theory. Uh, what happened with Jefferson? Did, did he hurt you? He used Nathan to get drugs and money for him. Jefferson tied me up and dosed me with some drug and took sick photos of me. It was so horrible. Max, I'm so sorry you had to go through all that. You're the bravest person I've ever known. You know, I want to kill that son of a bitch. Where is he? Dead. History. Which I need to change fast to make it right again. Is that bad? For every ep... Warren, I know this all sounds insane, but you're the only other person who I can count on now. I wish we had more time together. Do you believe me? Max, of course I believe you. You're the most amazing person I've ever met. And I'm glad you trust me. Always. I just wish I could trust my powers. I guess we'll never know. Even if it's from a wizard. That makes both.
I do know your axe. Please be okay, Chloe. I can't lose you. Hey. Be careful out there. Just in case we don't get out of this, I wanted to say... I know, Lauren. Of course you do. I'm going to make the right choices from now on. I swear. That's why you're super max. for this shit. Come on, Max. Ugh. Chloe! Jesus, dude, what is up with you? I'm just glad we're here together. I guess you need to talk. No worries. It's all good. I'm glad you're with me, too. What's going on, Max? We have to find Nathan right now. He's gonna Sorry, be more Warren. Connected to Rachel. Let's go. Now. Chloe, wait! Listen! I can walk and listen, okay? Stop and listen for once! Fine, Max. I'm listening. Chloe, you can't go in that party. You're going to... You're going to die if you do. You used your powers, right? And you fucked around with time and I died. Not like that. You're supposed to back me up. So there's no way that punk-ass bitch Nathan Prescott is taking me down. You're right, he won't. Mark Jefferson killed you. And others. Jefferson, the art teacher? That's bullshit! Nathan is the fucking serial killer! We saw the proof! Now excuse me, I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts anybody again. Are you coming? Nathan is dead, and you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? How do you know that? Because I was there. Will you please tell me exactly what happened? Please. Chloe... Jefferson drugged and kidnapped me. I was tied up in his bunker. You have no idea what hell I went through to get back here. But I couldn't let you die. You brought me back here and I can't lose you again. I won't. Um, Max, I'm, I'm so sorry. I was the one who dragged you into all this shit. Nobody, especially you, should have to go through that. I... Now we have to stop Jefferson. With one bullet. No. Not this way. Chloe, I, I can't keep fixing everything if all I'm gonna do is just break it over and over again. I know how this is gonna turn out, and I'm afraid I'm fucking up all these alternate realities. Wait, alternate realities? What do you mean, Max? What did you do? Chloe, I'm... I'm gonna tell you the truth, no matter what. I changed your past, and I... I, I had to make a terrible choice, and I... I... Max, please tell me. I won't be mad at you. I was able to go back in time to the last day William was alive. I stopped him from... Leaving, but, but you ended up in a car crash instead. You saw my dad again? You, you were completely paralyzed. And it, you, you were in pain. You were slowly dying. And you, you asked me to end your life. But Chloe, there was no way I could do that. I had to return to this timeline. To see you again. I had to. God, Max. That must have been... That must have been awful for you. I'm... I'm so sorry I had to ask you that. 
it was worse for you. But I had no idea what would happen, and as usual, I messed everything up, and I never want to hurt you, ever. You have to believe me. Of course I do. Do you think I would even know how to handle that situation? Nobody would. The important thing is that we're together again. You're right. That's, that's why you should come with me, so we can stay together and stay alive. I hear you, Max, but do you think we should let Jefferson get away with torture and murder? Of course not. If we tell David, he'll believe us and he can actually stop him. Right? I don't get it. Why do you trust him after you totally reamed him the other day? He's not even at our house anymore. Chloe, David saved me from Jefferson. If he didn't track down the dark room, I'd be dead right now. Max, I had no clue. I should have been the one to save you, but I'm so grateful David was there. So what's your plan? We tell him everything, including that Victoria is in danger. Okay. You've been through so much. I, I believe you, Max. After all, I'm still your faithful companion. Yes, you are. So listen. In a few minutes, I won't know any of this happened. Nothing. We absolutely have to stay in your room and do nothing. Then we explain everything to David, and we finally let him do his job. You'll have to tell me exactly what I did and said just now. Just explain that I traveled through time using the photo. Will you believe me? I'll always believe you, Chloe. Max is back. So, how was your time trip, dude? Shut up. Oh, you're alive. You're alive. Oh, both of us. I did so much to bring you back, Chloe. It worked. It actually worked. You're with me again. It looks like even fate doesn't want us apart. And travel through multiple realities just to save my ungrateful ass over and over. And I hope it was worth it. I don't blame you for wanting me out of your life after all my drama. Come on. I'm the official drama king and queen of Arcadia Bay this week. Just look at what my powers have caused in just a short time. I'm nobody. You're Max fucking Caulfield, time warrior. Even if you weren't, you're kind and caring. Nobody could have a better best friend. Nobody. You didn't ask for any of this to happen, but it did. You need to accept how awesome you are. Maybe I willed it subconsciously or something. I always wanted my life to be special and adventure. But not without you. And it didn't happen until I moved back here. So without you, my powers wouldn't even exist. And for whatever scientific, mystical reason that we'll obviously never figure out. We were meant to be together at this exact moment in history. I have to think that Rachel was somewhere behind the scenes, fighting for justice. I'd like to think that too. We all owe Rachel Amber. Now tell me everything that happened. You you remember, right? Well, we we left the party and made sure Jefferson couldn't find us. For once, I was glad I lived in an actual fortress. Then the storm got hella crazy, and, and you said we would be safe at the lighthouse. Chloe, look. The storm is getting bigger now. It's coming closer. Oh, I, I can't even believe this is real. This is happening because of me. Stop it. Is this, stop beating yourself up, okay? We've both paid our dues already on it. Oh God, look at that. Look at that monster. Who knows? This could be Rachel's revenge. Our revenge. 
The lighthouse is out of the way of the tornado. Come on. Chloe. I've got your back, Max. Whoa. Alfred Hitchcock famously called film Little Pieces of Time. I'm what back in class. As he what the hell? Us. These pieces of time can frame us in our glory. And I have to listen to this Jefferson lecture again. This the might be hell. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer okay, who perfectly this is messed up. In black and white? Am I stuck in a time loop? Anybody? Bueller? Diane Arbus. Be calm and don't freak out. Why Arbus? Yet. Because of her images of hopeless faces, you feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Wait, Seriously, though. What's going on? Any one of you in a dark Nobody world. even cares? I'll capture you in a moment of desperation. Everybody's gone now. Have I totally fucked up time? This doesn't make sense. I don't care if this is a dream or a nightmare. I'm taking this picture. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I just wanted to know if you'd like to spend the rest of your life in my darkroom. Your purity inspires me so much, and we could be so happy together. Who needs selfies when I can give you portraiture? There's no way I'm saying that. No way. It's about time somebody finally killed Chloe. Think of how often that bitch almost got me killed. It's like you're doing both of us an awesome favor. Chloe can never appreciate you the way I will, Maxine. And yes, I insist on calling you Maxine forever. This can't be real. I don't believe it. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even... Th I cannot say this. I like to think of it as our dark realm. It's the only place I truly feel safe and protected from the storm. Of course, Max. I can capture you over and over. You can be my model for life and death. We are going to be so happy together in the dark. Just make sure you stay pure. I won't like it if you get dirty like Rachel or Chloe. Max, why did you stop me from jumping? What kind of friend are you? You never understood me, or what happened to me. Now my family will never leave me alone, and that means I'll always be alone. Thanks to you. Kate, that's not true. I've always been your friend.
I wonder if Rachel has a room around here. Has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smart ass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. I miss Rachel too. But think about your cell phone tasks. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. Sounds like you totally crushed on her. You would have too. Smart, sexy, and sassy. Like me, right? Well, uh, <laughs> maybe Rachel would have caught up with both of us. Thank you, Susie. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? Jesus, she was banging that kid from Bitch lies to my face, Max! I can't trust anyone to forget. Everybody pretends to care until they don't. Even you. It's just the two of us, nobody else. I'm not scared at all. You have the power. I think we're this close to finding Rachel. This one is for Samuel. Ah, 
Don't try to hide, Max! Get over here! Let me capture you! Jefferson is coming after me again. Max! No. You used to be so pure, so innocent. Now, you have to die. Please understand, Max. The only place I can be my selfie is in the dark room. I can't believe you let that hillbilly murder me in cold blood. Maybe I'll be safe hey. in the lighthouse. Maybe I'll wake up. Max! You used to be so pure, so... Max! Max! You used to be so pure, so innocent. Now, you have to die. Please understand, Max. The only place I can be my selfie is in the dark room. I can't believe you let that hillbilly murder me in cold blood. What happened to your spark, Max? I thought I could be your professor. For life. I realize now you'll never be an artist. Much less a photographer. Come here, Max. 